Joining me now is Dr. Patrice Harris, and she is the incoming president of the American Medical Association. And Dr. Harris, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, well, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, well, first and foremost, congratulations on your incoming presidency. And tell me, what will, what will that entail with the American Medical Association? Well, thank you again. It's quite an honor, and I'm so excited. So as the AMA president, and I will be president starting June 11th when I'm inaugurated, you are the chief spokesperson for the American Medical Association. So I will have a huge platform to travel around this country, actually to travel internationally to talk about the work that we are doing at the AMA, our three strategic priorities, improving health outcomes, attacking the current dysfunction in healthcare, and innovating in the next generation of physician students. Here we are at APA. So let's talk about how being a psychiatrist will help in leading AMA as well. Well, I think it's very important for psychiatry and the issues around mental health and mental illness to continue to be integrated into overall health care. Uh, certainly APA has been on the front lines and actually AMA has been on the front lines, but this will be a particular opportunity for me as the president to amplify even further uh, the importance, again, of integrating mental health care into overall health care, and that psychiatrists are physicians, uh, just like everyone else. So this is going to be a unique opportunity. I will be a psychiatrist, a child and adolescent psychiatrist, and so I will have the opportunity to elevate issues surrounding uh, this specialty and our work. I know you must have a, a whole list of things, so if you were to give me kind of your priority right now going into it, what would it be? Well, again, and consistent with the AMA's current strategic priorities, it is the importance of integration of mental health into overall health care. You know, for so many years, mental health care was considered an afterthought and perhaps not as important into overall health care. But now we see, particularly our millennials mm -hmm. are talking about this issue and more folks are realizing that it is an important piece of health care. What do you think is helping integrate that? Because it is changing, there's more of a conversation. Um, so what is kind of forwarding that in terms of integrating psychiatry and AMA? I think that First of all, we're getting good, accurate information out there. Stigma survives and thrives when people have inadequate information, when people have misinformation. So I think part of the issue is talking about it. But I have to say the patient community has been very helpful. We have seen parents and family members come forward to talk about family members who are struggling with opioids. I chair the AMA's Opioid Task Force. We've had that task force since 2014. And certainly family members, people coming forward and saying, yes, I have a substance use disorder. I have an opioid use disorder. It is not a character flaw. Mm -hmm. It is not a moral failing. It's a biological disease. It's a medical illness. So I think it's a combination of our work in eliminating or demystifying or making sure facts are out there. And it's also a combination of folks coming forward and saying, hey, I have that too. We need to get to the point uh, where if you have a mental illness, it's seen as having a chronic disease, just like diabetes, just like hypertension, high blood pressure. Absolutely. It's getting there. We're getting there. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Well, I want to thank you for your time and congratulations. Well, thank you. Big year ahead, but look forward to, to hearing from you and seeing you out there as well. Well, it's a great privilege yeah. and it's a great responsibility, but a great opportunity. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dr. Harris. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Uh -huh.